Hey everyone, so I'm inspired to share this because I saw Gary V post this video about being bullied where he, had, where he was five years old and six kids um, made him drink piss out of a Pepsi can. And he said he couldn't speak any English because, you know, he's a, he's a child of immigrants, completely understandable why he couldn't speak English. And um, it, it just inspired me to share my own story because I know so many of you maybe have gone through something where you've let it define you. You've let it break you down. I know that I have, uh, but, but I have to say there, there's definitely two key incidents that have um, not like catapulted me to be who I am today, which is someone that will never allow anything to stop me. Uh, number one, I was in nursery school, and there was a. I was the like probably the only Indian kid in the school. In in a, this was in kindergarten, and I remember it so clearly. I remember exactly how I feel, how I felt, and um, there was a little boy, and I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know if he's, I don't know if we were friends on Facebook or if he, if he watches, but I wanted to play in the sandbox. Remember the sandbox? And he said to me, "You can't play in the sandbox because you're brown." And I remember feeling so rejected and so abandoned, like, and so different. But I also remember thinking to myself at that age, I am never going to allow somebody to tell me what I can and can't do simply because of what I look like. So that's one thing. That wasn't even the biggest one. The biggest one was when I was in the first grade I got beaten up by this girl and it was snowing, New York, I'm from New York. And um, I was curious, she was holding a box, a shoe box. And I asked her what was in the box and I persisted and I asked her what was in the box. And instead of being like, I don't wanna tell you, she threw me down into the snow. I still remember what I was wearing. I was wearing gap plaid pants and um, they got, a hole in them because she then uh, you know threw me on the concrete and I got beaten up and then I got blamed for it I got in trouble for it that moment I remember thinking to myself feeling like I had a target on my back like from that point on I always felt like I had a target on my back but I always said to myself no matter what I would outperform outrun outbeat anybody that I met and that, for some of you, that may be like, Voss, that's so egotistical. But guess what? For me, that was a survival strategy. And that was my fuel. That has always been my fuel, is that I, and now, of course, the only person I ever want to outrun is myself. I don't really give a shit about competing with anybody because we're all unique in our own way. But it's so funny. And then, it, it, you know, in, in, um, in junior high, I was bullied. Boys didn't want to like, boys would make fun of me saying that I was flat chested or saying that I was uh, hairy or, and then in high school, I went to a new high school. I didn't stay in the public school system. My dad put me in private school. Kids at school would call me gonzo because of my nose. So I felt ugly and I felt like I didn't, I, 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 did, I just didn't feel pretty, you know? And like every girl wants to feel pretty, right? We, I mean, I, I think everyone wants to feel loved and feel accepted and feel like they're attractive and that, that they can attract someone, but like when you're teased, like literally I would walk into class and people would be like, <clears throat> Gonzo, that's what I dealt with. I did not let that stop me at all in my life from succeeding. And so what, what bullies don't understand is that they are paving the way for the people that they're bullying to either break down, which thank God was not me, or as Gary Vee says, fucking dominate, right? Like you can't hold a candle to me. And that's the truth. And so I want to turn it over to you, ask yourself <clears throat> and ask you, where in your life have you allowed yourself to be dominated by the things that have happened to you? If you've gotten fired from a job that you really wanted to be in, if you got um, rejected by a guy that you really liked, if you got broken up with because the guy didn't think you were good enough. If you, um, you know, asked for the sale and it, it was told no, or if you were tortured as a child, or if you had teachers who told you you weren't smart enough, or if you had friends that didn't, or friends that didn't want to hang out with you because you weren't cool enough, whatever. If you were not the popular kid in school, I was not the popular kid in school. I tried so hard to be the popular kid in school, and now 
I am so happy because all the people that I wanted to be friends with growing up are doing the same shit. They've popped out two to three kids, living in the suburbs, driving their fucking minivan or their, or their Jeep or whatever the hell, and just living a very, what I would think, mediocre life. And this may sound like, Voss, you sound really mad. I'm not mad, I'm just passionate. I'm passionate about people really realizing that every single person that you've given importance to who has treated you like shit doesn't deserve even this much of your attention or your time. So you might as well just focus it on yourself, focus your time, focus your energy on yourself, keep that shit moving, okay? Because now when I get messages from people in high school um, and junior high or whatever that are like, hey, I'm like, hey, like, what do you want? Right? I don't talk like that, but I'm thinking it. I'm like, wow, you tortured me in junior high. <clears throat> the most formative years of my life, you tortured me. You made fun of me. You called me ugly. You made fun of my family because we looked different. Or my name was Basavi. You made fun of my name. You made fun of my name. You, you made fun of the way I look. And I can feel those feelings. Like, right? Like, that's how, that's how real those feelings are. Like, I can still feel it. But, and that's fine. Like, feel those feelings. But when you feel those feelings, do not let it prevent you from moving forward in your life. Do not let what any jackass in your life say, say to you, have done to you, stop you from moving forward in your life. You are great. You are amazing. You have exactly what you need inside of you to get exactly whatever it is that you want. So let that sink in. You are not alone. People that have spent their time torturing other people, teasing other people, bullying other people ain't shit. They're not shit. You're amazing. Don't forget that.